Alright, how's it going everybody? Here for hey. the update video Hi. for Greg Tech 6, 05, 13, and 05, 14. A um, couple little fixes first. The mining drill, when it is empty, which this one is not, will still pace, place torches. Um, it was unable to do so when it was uh, empty before this update. Um, <coughs> inserting fluids into the tiny funnel <coughs> into a basic machine didn't update the machine, so it took ages for it to start. Uh, we will show that in a minute when we go look at the new machines. Uh, boilers have a maximum calcification of 50% now, making non-distilled water boilers doable but horribly inefficient. Might be a way to have large boilers running non-stop without needing to distill extra water. And we tested that in the stream today. It does definitely stop at 50%. I gotta keep eating chicken here. Uh, and it does put out power at 50%, just not, you know, 50% less than what it would. And we did a test uh, run, like I said, of the large boiler. And we're not going to do that in the update video. Spend enough time with that large boiler. Uh, let's see. There is a new crop. That is why we're up here. It's called Ananas, which is basically a pineapple. So that is pretty much what it looks like when it first grows, just a little smaller. This is what it looks like when it's ready to harvest. And you get your Ananas, who lives in a <laughs> pineapple under the sea. And you can use them for slicing with a knife. And you get your pineapple slices. And you can use them for any pineapple things for Pam's. You can also make fruit punch with honey. You can make your fruit salad with the cutting board or knife. You can make your pina coladas. And you can even turn them into two Pam's pineapples with two Greg's pineapples. Weird crap. You can use it to make the fruit bait. You can juice it to get your fruit remains and 75% Ananas juice. Uh, there is a thing we've tried earlier with the pineapple juice. Uh, you can shred them for a 90% chance at plant remains. You can put them in the slicer to get your pineapple slices with the flat slicer blade. Alright, that's it. You can also make Hawaiian pizza, and damn it, I'm eating the thing now. There's your Hawaiian pizza. Damn, for a pizza, that doesn't give you much. I only got two and a half. I got more out of a fried chicken. I know. His pizza sucks. These are the smallest personal pan pizzas I've ever seen. The okay. recipe's on the crafting table over here. Though. Yeah. We'll show them in a minute, but I had to eat it because I'm getting tired of starving to wait to eat it. I'm um, down to the heart. Let's see. Back to pineapples. You can use it as a fruit for just about anything. You can can it. And the juice can be used to make the pineapple yogurt in the mixer. The new ice cream, which we'll talk about in a minute. And you can use it as the fruit juice in iced tea. You can generify it into regular fruit juice. And you can can it into ananas juice made of trees. Which Greg said he put pineapple in all of the tooltips. So you knew it was pineapple. And there is no pineapple in that one. Nor is there one on that one. Uh, the one thing that we did notice, Crazy found this earlier, is there is pineapple wine, which is added by beanies, but Greg does have a pineapple wine fluid from the beanies fluid, 
we cannot make this with the fermenter and we cannot make it uh, in a wooden barrel so that might be something Greg needs to add or may want to add uh, let's see there's pineapple pizza which I'll show you when we head down there and I think that's about it with the pineapples uh, oh, and there's a special little note here I swear was meant just for crazy, which says, Ananas crops, so may call it pineapple, and added several Ananas related things, including a pizza variant. Just remember that you do not have to craft every single food item that exists. Yes, I do. Exactly. Um, so there's another change and that is the M tomatoes, the max tomatoes do not drop as a special drop anymore from tomato crops. You now have to make them and to make them, you need this, uh, rainbow fluid and you take your tomatoes, which we're going to try two of these and let's see give me that back all right there we go we got two max tomatoes from Pam's tomatoes now wait a minute why is this uh, okay can you put your other one in there need it for the ice cream we can get more there should be more down there in the sap bag. Let's see if this actually gives this to me. Because it's supposed to be 1,000 liters for... Yeah, it's still in there. Um, maybe I didn't have 1,000 liters in there? Alright, so if you'd like to get this rainbow fluid, you need to drill a mm -hmm. hole in a rainbow wood tree. That Put a sap weird. collection bag on there, and you will get your fluid. And then you take the measuring pot to your tree when it has sap in it, and hey, you click it. it. And that gives you your 1,000 liters of rainbow sap. So there you go, crazy. If you need one, <laughs> right there's one. I already got one out of it. Oh, so apparently we got a bunch of them in here. Alright, so that's the new Max Tomato recipe. Like I said, it should be 10 tomatoes per uh, 1,000 liters of rainbow fluid. You can do it in the mixing thing. Uh, we'll come look at the pineapple recipe over here at Crazy's Cafe. And then we will go look at some ice cream and the two new machines. So, this is the new pineapple pizza. You use two pineapple slices, cooked ham, cheese slice, and flat dough with ketchup. And you get raw pineapple pizza, and then you throw that in your oven, and you get your pineapple pizza ready to eat. Now, come over here, and we have a thermoelectric cooler. A cryo mixer and a freezer that were added you will also notice that a lot of the holy crap why am I losing hunger so quickly today uh, you'll notice that a lot of the machines now have different colors for the recipe arrow if they are designated to be hot they are red <laughs> If they are now designated to be cold, which you will see here, they will be blue. So this is your thermoelectric cooler. And we will look up the recipe for that for you here. You have your normal five different flavors plus your RF ones that will have to be mine tweaked in. And so you have LV to IV being stainless steel aluminum or crap 
tin out galvanized steel aluminum stainless steel chrome and titanium good gravy so you use regular silicon plates copper plates wires and then a wire cutter and wrench each one goes up so you have doubles for these and then copper wires these you have triples and gold wires always the regular machine casing and so on and so forth now you will notice with these that they are 25 percent efficient per side so you have 32 EU in average for an output of 8 CU and 8 HU CU being cryo units that is your new energy unit that was added this time um, I haven't noticed a real use for the heat output at the moment uh, because it's either on the bottom here or it would be on the back side here um, I guess you could kind of use this for heating up maybe a crucible where this one's pretty much useless uh, but <laughs> Unless you're going to make a lot of things in the freezer, you wouldn't want to be using this way of heating up a crucible. All right, so that's your thermoelectric cooler. Your heat comes out one side, cool is out the other side, and then power can go in any of the blue sides that isn't the top or bottom. So there's no way to flip it up um, sideways. You can flip it with the wrench. So see, if I turn it this way, then the blue is on the front, but that's not going to do your machine any good. So you can flip them any direction you want, but the blue needs to be going to where the machine needs it. And you'll see that the machine has the... So that has to be on the bottom. Yes. Go upwards. Okay. So you have to have this right on the, the blue facing the blue. Just like your uh, boilers and burning boxes. Too bad you can't put that on the top instead of the bottom. Uh, yeah, well, that's an input. All right, so the other thing you have is the freezer. We'll start with it here. <clears throat> freezer also comes in your five fruity flavors from galvanized to tungsten or titanium. So you used to heat things. Uh, you got stainless steel, your machine casing, and the silicon plate. That is the same all the way up. The only thing changing is the machine casing in the center. And it also doubles, triples, <clears throat> and quadruples the plates. But, yeah. So, that's your freezer. I... Uh, it does all kinds of different recipes for water-based freezing things. So you can make ice cubes, large and small, or large and regular. You can make the snow carpet stuff. Uh, there's your medium ice cubes. Uh, regular ice is made in here. Your crushed ice that you can use for cranberry smoothies and iced tea. Apricot smoothies, all of them can be made now that way instead of the shapeless crafting with the juicer. So you can automate making your juicers that way, or your smoothies that way. Uh, you have your other ice cubes here. Uh, you'll notice there's two recipes for each thing. That's because you can use regular water or distilled. There's your snowballs, crushed ice again ice and your snow block and that is it for the freezer right now you just need to select your tag and each different tag is for a different recipe uh, you'll notice that it is 32 cu per tick input for the tier one 16 minimum 64 maximum items go in the top or left Items come out the bottom or right. Fluid in top and left. Fluids out bottom and right. Um, and you can always tell which side is the automatic 
because it will have this symbol on it. And we are putting water in through the side here. Uh, the other thing being the cryo mixer up here. And this is basically your ice cream maker. And you have the same five foodie flavors for this. Uh, if I look at the right ones here. So these right here. These are going to use a stainless steel rotor, stainless steel plates, your machine casing, yeah. and your silicon plate. And holy crap. I'm thinking this armor I'm wearing is messing with my hunger. I think. You should give me the armor. you're eating a lot. Try yeah, Go take here. the armor off and try that. Take that stuff for a minute. Hey, you know my boots and your helmet? Uh, I definitely want my helmet, <laughs> that's for sure. Let's see, better falling on breaking. Let's see if I don't break. get as hungry this time. You have last stand two on your helmet. Shush it. What does that mean? Later. Alright, double stainless steel, so the plates double as the machine goes up, along with the silicon plate, and the machine casing stays. Uh, the same size, but changes flavor. So that's your cryo mixer, and you'll see that its recipes is making ice cream. Hi, NetMC, you're not here. We don't see you. Uh, so you have salt and soy milk or water, oh. and you also can use regular milk and regular water or distilled water. Do smaller batches with small piles of salt. There's the milk and water. And crazy, you gonna make some ice cream? I gave you the milk. You Jeez. gave me milk. Oh, you yep. gave me a barrel of milk. Yeah. Uh, you have a tap. No. You have a bucket. Yes. As I'd have to break out the uh, glass on top to get it in any other way. Here, I'll grab my tap here. And good thing you got a bucket, because I don't know where I put mine today. All right, so. Okay. You can funnel it in the front. <laughs> yeah, the funnel is very cheaty, because you do not have to have it on the actual input. You can just put it anywhere you want, and it works. So go ahead and throw us some milk in there. And you probably didn't bring any salt, did you? Oh, no. Let me run over here and grab some salt. My stuff still hasn't gone down yet. Find him, see. He wasn't here. He just left. Yeah, but he He's wasn't not here. here. You never seen him. I see him that he joined. No, no you're not getting this. Net MC was not here. He's supposed to be getting ready to leave for vacation. He wasn't here. Why does it... Could Just you... hush it. All right, so there's your ice cream slamming on the pipe because I forgot to set that one to not output. Oh, so there is your ice cream. And now okay, we have so... a bunch of different flavors of ice cream. Uh, let's see. Follow the crazy. Uh, yeah. There are 36 different flavors of ice cream. Uh, we'll go over... All of them in a second. Where is the crazy? Ah, crazy's over here. So she's going to make one with rainbow, rainbow ice cream. Which is rainbow ice cream. Which I don't think gave me anything whatsoever. I don't know what's up with your armor. It's not giving me any hunger, right? I don't think it's the armor, dude. I'm half hungry already. Well, what, what the, the hell? Heck? I don't know. Something is just making me freaking hungry as crap right now. You're an old. You're. Never mind. Um, I did not get anything. Did you get that? Mm, no, I have nothing. Hmm. I'm gonna go almost kill myself. You wanna it... try it again? I'm gonna go jump down the stairs like I've been doing. 
No, but it keeps giving me it back. I guess you have to have an actual mixer. Um, it is possible. Let me try it. Oh, wait. I'm not doing it right. That would be the first problem. While she figures this out, 36 types of ice cream, all Harvest Craft ice creams are among them. They are all, they will cool you down with Enviromine. So. Ha ha. Here you ice go. Ice cream. Oh, really? You had to make me bear ice cream. Gelato <laughs> for bears. Yeah, I am so not wanting to eat this. And I will explain to you why in a second. So we have regular ice cream. We just showed you how to make that. Um, you also have another one. dressy alata, which is fine chocolate chip. Uh, raisin ice cream, which would be for them weird guys that like raisins. Oh, ice cream. So the chocolate powder and ice cream in the mixer makes your stralata and green raisins or regular Pam's raisins or prome raisins and purple raisins makes your raisin ice cream. Vanilla ice cream, you mix a small pile of ground vanilla. You got for, ice cream, Andy. Or regular ground to make four of them, which I always thought regular ice cream was vanilla ice cream. I think he cheated to get 34 myself, or 36 myself. Chocolate ice cream, which is you mix molten chocolate with ice cream. Mocha, which is coffee. So you have coffee powder and ice cream. And you have caramel, which is Pam's caramel. And ice cream. Mint ice cream. Mint from Greg's Mint Plants. Uh, let's see. Mint chocolate chip. So mint and chocolate powder. You actually use the mint ice cream and the chocolate powder to make that. Uh, strawberry, cherry, blueberry, currant, blackberry, raspberry, cranberry, gooseberry. These all use juices. So you throw whichever juice it is we're talking about here and your ice cream in the mixer. Same with the Nutella. And then you have your lemon ice cream. I don't know who would want to eat yellow snow. Personally. Uh, maple ice cream. You use maple syrup. Uh, pistachio ice cream is ground pistachio. Bacon ice cream. Yeah, no. Yeah, I gave you bacon ice cream. Did you really? Yeah, I gave you bacon flavored ice cream. Kiwi, melon, <laughs> banana, grape, apple, peanut butter. So you can mix peanut butter, which is just juicing a peanut to get your peanut butter. Uh, let's see. We have ananas, so pineapple. Chum ice cream, because, well, somebody out there apparently wants chum ice cream. You know, see me eat that stuff. The bear ice cream. Neapolitan, which is mixing your strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate together. You also have Spinoni chocolate, which is cherry, pistachio, and chocolate. Uh, Spumoni vanilla, which is mixing it with vanilla instead of chocolate. Superman ice cream that saves the day. But it's made and with lemon ice cream. That is cherry, blueberry, and lemon. Rainbow ice cream, which we just had, which is rainbow sap and ice cream. Then you have no recipe for Pam's ice cream. But for some reason, you have recipes using it to make Pam's other ones. So, there's your ice cream. Would you stop? <laughs> this is like having two little kids around. All right, so yeah, we have high on ice cream. bear when ice hell, cream. When the hell could you climb a pole? Uh, always. I didn't know you could climb a pole. All right, so let's see. Is there anything else from the 13 update? 
No. So, the 14 update. You have a few minor bug issues, or a few minor issues. I have no idea what those are. Um, the only thing I know of that was done in this update was the uh, beanie juices are now compatible with most Greg Tech stuff if you can get the beanie juices. And the tooltip for the boxinator and unboxinator is supposed to be fixed. And now you cannot, as the tooltip will show you there, get things out of the bottom because that's where the power goes in. Apparently, Bear has complained enough that that has gotten removed. So, put this back up here. And the other thing that was changed in this version is the forestry crates can be created and uncreated in the boxinator and the unboxinator. And you know what? The boxinator, it'll be easier to use in the eye. Boxinator uh, recipes is lagging in my Minecraft. Yes, because it's adding them. Shut up a minute. Sorry. So you have your forestry crate. Which you're making a carpenter. Four logs, 24 crates, and then you can unbox them or you can use them to box stuff in the boxinator. So if you want to store stuff in forestry crates instead of in Greg's crates, you can now do it with Greg's machines and not need uh, to do it in the carpenter. But you still have to make the crates in the carpenter. Um, also, tooltip for the drain. And this is something that came off of somebody asking about it in one of my comments. And I said something in the stream today about it. So Greg thought it was a great idea to add. Uh, you can see now that the drain has a... Uh, will work infinitely in rivers and oceans. So if you had any questions about how the drain works and how to get water, if you're using finite water, that's the way you do it. That's the way we collect all of our water around here is through one drain over here at the river, one drain over there at the ocean. That way we have both types of water coming through town. And they are infinite and do not drain any of the water out of the river or out of the ocean so we do not have big uh, flowing water issues you can see our river right here is nice and flat and our drain is sitting right there and it actually doesn't do a block update when it pulls it in as long as it's doing the infinite so you don't have to worry about that. Um, that is it, unless Crazy knows of anything else. Nope. Alright, so that's it for the update for this week. Hope you all enjoyed. As usual, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll pass them along to Greg or answer them the best that I can. And if you'd like to ask Greg himself, you can go to the IC2 Greg Tech 6 forums. Or Greg's IRC development channel and ask him in person. Uh, you can also stop by our streams. We stream usually daily and we are glad to answer questions. We do update streams on Thursday and Friday for Greg Tech 6 to look at the new things that are coming out in this update video. So, have a good one. <laughs>